Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know. But what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. All right, let's go check those fuel sprinklers now. I bet they all need cleaning or something. Let's go. It's Abanchu. Welcome back to Metro Exodus. So we find ourselves in a very different place now. There's a lot of exposition that happened uh, last time at the end of the last episode. Uh, essentially, though, looks like we're going to convert the train over to using to burning diesel. But and it, from the looks of it, we ran across some people that were in a vehicle, so they must have access to diesel. I think I overheard one of them mention something about a Baron. They're going to report into the Baron, whatever that is. Um, but that still doesn't solve the problem of we also need water. And a bunch of the team that's still able to walk around and not overcome with heat exhaustion, dehydration, sent a bunch of people out to do various jobs. And my job is... What the heck is my job? The car entered the village and I had to find those people and obtain water for the crew. With their help or without it. I guess maybe somebody else is looking for fuel. Oops. Uh. Okay, right, let's zoom in on that. Okay. So where am I located? Oh, I'm there. So if I follow the train tracks back the way we came, I should get to that point where that village is. There's probably a lot more to see here, but let's start with that. Actually, let's start with looking around the train. See how people are doing, because I think some people are sick. Stefan among them. Artyom. Abandoned village. Building with an antenna. Check who went there. We'll be waiting for an update from you. Okay. Let me check my gear before I go any further. Uh, that's over this way. Hi, Artyom. Hi. What you got there? Is that some kind of explosives or something? So the buildings. How did you find the premises, idiot? Looks like it used to house a ticket office and lockers. Full of garbage now. Could use some cleaning. Artyom, I've got something for you. Oh, you got something for me? What you got? What you Are got? Are you going out? Look here, then. This is something I finished just now. What is it? Yeah. Oh. Hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Ooh. Now, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly. With all the sand around. Yeah, good point. Hang on. So... That's not what I wanted to do. Then we'll bring Stefan. It's cooler than in the train. Your word is law, my lead. Where is... There should be a workbench around here somewhere, right? Yeah, right here. Let's let's work on this. Ah, the heck. I'll go with infrared laser. I don't know how well that'll work. Is anybody else to talk to? How are you guys doing? Artyom! <coughs> Wait, I'm coming with you. No, I no, think no, no. I could no. use a little walk right now. You could use a little rest. Stopa, you can hardly walk. You'd better rest while it's not your shift. Well, Artyom, I really do feel kind of under the weather now. Maybe next time. You're right. Artyom and Demir are going out for a simple recon, not a fight. And what if they get attacked? Then they'll retreat back to base where you and Sam cover them. So you exactly. should rest now. Exactly. Yes. 
You're right, Katya. You take good care of him, Katya. Looks like I can't go through that way. Oh. Sorry. How is okay. Stepan doing? He's got a sunstroke. And he's dehydrated to boot. We should let him rest in a cool place. The boys are checking the station building now. We'll put him there once they're done. Oh, I hope they finish soon. Hmm. Maybe I should check on them. See how they're doing. Uh, let's switch off to this weapon. Now, how do I... Oh, it looks like I have the incendiary rounds equipped right now. May as well fully charge this up. Okay. Is this place actually secure? Looks lovely. Find any good stuff? RTM, we can handle it here. Alright, I just want to see if there was anything good in there. Looks like it's been picked pretty clean, though. Oh, look, there's this, this mosaic here. Alright, anyway. I believe, last I checked my map, I need to head this way. Who's that walking up there? Are those demons up there or just regular birds? What you see out here? Those look like they're Do demons. Do you see that building with the antenna? The car went yep. that way. Be careful out there though. We don't know what to expect from the locals. Switch my weapons around. Hang on. First of all, that's not loaded. Secondly, they got some kind of flag up there, but I can't make out what that flag is. Didn't see any other people. All right, move forward. Tumbleweeds are making a terrible noise. What's in this train car? Corpse. Corpse that had valuable loot. Oops. Yeah, you know, I record these games in uh, batches, so I'll do four episodes straight of um, Metro Exodus and then I'll go and do the other game I'm doing. And do like six episodes straight of that. But what that means is sometimes I get into a game and start playing Metro Exodus like today and it's the first time I've played it in a week and I'm not too clear on what the controls are anymore. <laughs> Which is very unfortunate. I don't like that but Really? I'll take a look outside in a second. Oh, I see what you mean. Looks nasty out there. I'm finding good loot in these train cars, though. Or at least finding some loot in these train cars. Hours further that way. The 
these train cars kind of buried in the sand. Lots of critters rustling around here. It's kind of disturbing. This is like bats. Sounds like something nasty. Any friends? It's a pretty good shot. Pretty sure who, whatever that was or whoever that was, they were hostile. Ugh. That's not the dude I shot, is it? Covered in flies. I did want to check out that shack, though. I think the one guy was... Oh. Wow, that thing just came out of nowhere. I did not see them. They kind of blend into the train, cover themselves with dust, I guess. Wait, what the heck is this? What is this weapon? Is this new? Looks like some kind of submachine gun. I don't really want it, though. Especially since I have no bullets for it. There's a radio here. That dude is dead, right? A few more of those bullets. Somebody's got their picture up there. I wonder if that's the Baron. All right, let's move forward. Whoever those guys were, they held their fire because they saw Anna. I don't know what the significance of that is. Another gas station? out a little bit. What the heck? Why was that thing on fire? The tumbleweed was on fire. Did I do that? good shot at these guys. It looks like there's somebody fighting those ghouls. I'd help them out, but, you know, I'm busy. <laughs> Screw that nonsense. I'm busy. Let them take care of it. You think I'm some kind of hero?
look like I can does not look like I can get in here. However, I reach through the door. I wonder if um night vision would be helpful here, because it's getting awful dark. Can I not get in there? Let me switch off. Getting a lot of glare from my skull. Not sure I like this night vision skull very much. Trouble lining up the shot. Gotcha. Oops, wrong button. I'm gonna actually reload this. Oh! Yeah, it wasn't my imagination. They they totally ambushed me. They came up out of the sand. anymore. Yeah, I do. That was unpleasant. radio. Um. Let's see if that helps at all. Crap. 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 Night vision or not, I can't see a blasted thing. Out of ammo. I can't hear you. Come in. Ah, uh, fuck you, mate. Boy, this is very tense. Talk to this one. Get off me, ugly. Charged up, okay. This is not going as good as I'd hoped. Am 
no, turn off. I've sustained some injuries. I probably should uh, heal up or something. I need to go up the stairs. I want to have a talk with these guys. I don't want to shoot them. Coming here. I just wanted to talk. But I guess that's over now. I surrender. No. 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 Hurt somebody. I don't know what the heck that was about. The guy freaking just shot at me. Also, I think first aid is going to be necessary now. All right, let's just go. Get out of here. I don't know what those guys were going on about, but... Definitely gotta get rid of this night vision scope. Holy crap, there's a lot of guys here. Ow, you piece of crap! I'm hurt now. I'm in trouble. I don't know what was supposed to happen there. There's a lot of them chasing me. There you are, Artyom. Finally. I thought I'd have to go and dig you out. Well, well you almost did. Sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. <laughs> I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, you can't miss it. Okay. Hold on, let me get back here and catch my breath for a second. Holy crap. That kind of sucked. Communication bunker is somewhere on the islet next to the lighthouse. I need to find the entrance to the complex. Way up there, huh? Okay. What you doing, Nastya? One, two, three, four, five. Uncle Artyom, you didn't know what happened. Why? What's happened? I entered the room and there were skeletons. They were scary. Where was that? One, Where two, three, four, five. When our catfish for a dive. Six, seven, eight, couple frogs at eight. Nine, ten, eight, a hen. 
Ten nine eight, have some bait. Seven six five, don't you fight. Anna, we are here. Hi, Artyom. Sun's going all out today, huh? Well, except for that dust storm me, coming out of nowhere. Over. <laughs> Hello, Artyom. Read you loud okay. and clear. Yeah, so, did you, you try the new ammo out? out? Should yeah, work great good. with all this oil around. Ah. I figure the Holy Flame would be pretty happy with them, hmm? <laughs> Don't forget to clean your guns regularly. With all the sand around... Yeah, I think I'll do that right now. ...is observation alone. Do you read me? Reports at half-hour intervals. Over and out. Okay. So I... I did switch out for that uh, new gun. I don't have a lot of bullets for it, but it's going to be useful for sniper situations. Mom, don't maybe. we have anything to drink? Nothing, Nastya. There is just nothing. You should have asked earlier. I already gave my water to Uncle Stjopa. Oh, is he that sick? Yes, he didn't drink at all yesterday. Poured all of his canteen back into the tank. Uncle Tokarev saw him do that, but never told anyone. And then he went on patrol, and it was so hot. And he got a sunstroke? Yes. Yes, Nastya, he did. But he will get better. Of course he will. Don't you worry. Then I'm giving him half of my ration tomorrow. I want him to get better soon. You are such a sweetheart. We've got to find water. I mean, it's desperate. In fact, I don't. I don't think I have anything in my canteen. I don't think there's any place How I can you, rest Yosha? to fill up. How about taking a short break in the shade? No, sir. I am on duty today. Wow. <laughs> Polishing your pronunciation is a waste of effort. You've nobody to try it on but me. What do you mean, nobody? I could certainly try it on the locals, or to be precise, the local ladies. They could be fond of tourists, huh? <laughs> You're definitely overheating. Me? Hmm. <laughs> I had to take a short stroll at night, and walking past the old man's compartment, I heard him mumbling. It was like 3 a.m., and he was all there talking to himself. That's overheating, man. What was he saying? I said he was an old fool and that he should have known better than dragging his bones here. Said that had he just whipped Anna's and Artyom's asses back in, we'd all be chilling out in the metro. Sounds like he regrets ah, coming Artyom. here. I heard you got yourself a car. That's fortunate. This desert is far too vast to keep crisscrossing it on foot, eh? Wait, what? I, as you see, have been tending to my old girl here, so that she could give her best when needed. As far as I see, we shouldn't stay here for too long. I'm used to heat, but the boys, uh, much less so. It's the desert. I got a car? I don't have a car! Was I supposed to take that car? When all of those uh, beastmen were like crawling all over me? The world is alive. We might even go to America eventually since the war's over. How about pitching the idea to the colonel? <sighs> what the heck? Was I supposed to take that car? I didn't know I was supposed to take that car. I don't know what the point of that excursion was. I guess that was what I got from the guy was a key to that car. Oh, those are vultures. But it's like there were beastmen like swarming all over the place and I just gave up on that idea. Ran all the way back here. Maybe there was a car I was supposed to get. I don't know. How was I supposed to know that? Crap.
There might be beastmen in here. Also, how do I reload this thing? How do I... Ah, that's how I switch off. Now he asked me how the ammo worked and I didn't even try it. Because I had the other arm ammo equipped. Well, that was neat. Well, I would say that's effective ammunition. Man! I guess the point was I was supposed to get in this freaking vehicle and drive it. How was I supposed to know that? Um, or am I? I have the key, right? What the heck? Oops, wrong button. I don't understand. I don't see a way into the vehicle. Am I supposed to get into it somehow? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm really confused right now. I don't understand. So I came back here, I checked in that building everywhere I could. I think that there was a little scene there where I grabbed the key off of that guy. I think it was supposed to be the key to the vehicle. And when I got back to the train, they mentioned, oh, hey, you got a vehicle now. It'd be easy to get around. I've come back to this vehicle. I don't see a way I can get into it. There's no way I can interact with it. I feel like I must be missing something here. This is the vehicle that they were in. I don't know. I don't understand. Alright, well, I'm, I'm going to wander north a little bit and then find a good stopping point and call the day. I don't understand that. want to check out these abandoned buildings and yet tend to be full of beastmen. I said they tend to be full of beastmen. That late house is my objective, isn't it? I think it is. Snakes, lots of snakes here.
Clearly I've got a long ways to go to get there. I don't see much here either. I swear I was supposed to get access to that vehicle. And it's not working. I don't understand it. It's over there. Have I been in there? These are bad dudes. Huh. Okay, well, I gotta continue north. Tumbleweeds, man. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I thought it might have been first aid in there. So these are boats. Looks like uh, this was a lake once. <laughs> it's dried up. Nothing but desert now. I think there's still a lake here, it's just receded quite a bit. I'll get a little further north toward where that lighthouse is and I might find it. Nothing to see here. or watchmen or something similar to it. I'll leave them alone if they leave me alone. I don't want to waste ordnance on them. It's like a bigger ship over here. of anything in here. Oh, maybe. Maybe on the other side of there. Like it in here.
Sounds like a fight going on back there. I say this is a lake, it might actually be the Caspian Sea that we're near. I forget. Geography's hard. Stand still! Oh, I wasted a lot of precious ammo taking those guys out because I was panic firing and missing a lot. What is that noise? Do I ever want to know? The heck? What am I looking at here? Like big pools of oil, I guess. Probably shouldn't mess with that too much. Find some good stuff, though. Heading towards that lighthouse. sets those things on fire. Those geysers. Any cool stuff in here? Surprisingly, no. Nothing. Anything I can access. Well, that's interesting. Huh. If I go down here, am I going to be able to get back out again? Look at the moon rising. Very pretty. These dudes are working on something. Hold on. 
What are they building over there? I wonder if they'll be hostile to me. Should I go and try and talk to them? Hmm. Or should I shoot them from here? Well. I'll think about that. And I'll decide next time on Amon Chooses Metro Exodus.